Ayo, duckies, Andy Liv here, back with another OBS tutorial, and this is another plugin from Exceldro. So, have you ever wondered how you could actually do something called a downstream keyer? Basically, which means that you can have anything and any element on screen constantly, no matter what scene that you're on, so you don't need to add it into every scene, and it'll also persist through transitions, similar to you, you kind of seen in that clip there. It is super easy to do with this new plugin. It's super easy to set up, a couple of seconds to download and install. So I'm gonna run you through it and how to use it now. So let's just get straight into it. Put your rug in the stone, let's go. Right, so first things first, as always, we need to go and get the plugin downloaded and installed. So if we jump to the OBS website just here, all the links are in the description down below, so don't worry. We just gotta head up and press the download button in the top right. Press that, you'll get four different choices. You've got Windows Installer, which I'd probably recommend if you are using Windows. You've got Windows to manually install it. I'm gonna do that method in this video just to show you because that'll kind of cover for Linux and Mac OS as well. It's not gonna be the exact same file path, but it'll give you an idea of where to go and what to do. So Installer is the best way to do it. Just press download and get that done. But I'm gonna do the manual way, so we're just gonna download it there. And then we're gonna open up the downloads folder and you should see data, OBS plugins. We're just gonna copy them, go to the C drive, Go into program files or program files H6, it depends. Mine's in program files and then go to OBS-Studio or lowercase and we're just going to paste it directly in there. Mine's going to ask me to replace. Yours will say, oh, I need admin privileges to paste it all in there, yada, yada, yada. Just say yes to everything. It's perfectly fine. Once that's all done, we're ready to go and open up OBS. So here is OBS. This is my just chatting scene that I've got. And then this is the... Uh, the display that I've got as well to showcase my display and basically I want to add elements on top of it so the way that we can check if we've got this all installed correctly is if you just right click anywhere in the in the middle here where these little kind of um, panels all connect up you should see downstream Kia just there if you're not you can go up to view Go down to Docs, and you should see Downstream Kia there. If you're not seeing that at all, it means that you've not installed it correctly. So jump back uh, a, a stage and get it all installed. You might need to restart OBS as well, so just close, reopen it, all that jazz. And we're going to open up Downstream Kia, and it'll bring up this little menu that doesn't look like it's doing anything right now at all, but it is all ready to go. There's literally barely any setup at all for this to get it to work. So first things first, we need to make some scenes. So... The scene that I'm going to do is I'm going to make some lower thirds. So I'm going to call this lower thirds uh, one. Uh, I'm going to just call it that for now and press OK. And we're going to use a text source for now. So I'm going to call this um, lower third uh, one. LT1, you can call it whatever you like. I'm going to select a font and all that jazz. And there's only one font that you ever want to use, and that's Comic Sans, because it's the best one. Uh, we're going to press 72. And I'm just going to type in, yeah. I used Comic Sans. Beautiful. What's wrong with that? Uh, we're going to change the color just to make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to create a background for it of white. Drag the opacity up so it's created something like that. I want to make it a little bit bigger by dragging it as well. Once I'm happy, press OK. I'm going to put it down in the bottom just here. Probably down there, like so. And as you can see, when I'm just swapping between these, I basically want that to be there all the time, okay? So the way that I do that is, I just, whilst I've got the scenes selected just here, the lower thirds selected, just press the plus sign. And that has created this little um, lower thirds one in there, which is the same as this scene name. And all I need to do is click on that, okay? And then now, when I swap between any other scene, when I'm switching between scenes, that will always stay on top. Even if I start adding in different uh, transitions. So, for instance, if I put in a Luma Wipe, for instance, throw in a Luma Wipe on here, and we'll, uh, we'll do... Let's do this one. Press OK. When I switch, no matter what transition I'm doing, you can see it always stays on the screen. So now you're thinking, okay, how do I get rid of it? You just press the pause button. Press the pause button and it'll fade out. And you can even change the filters, uh, not the filters, the transitions for that as well. So if you click it and then press the little cog button and go to transition, you can select what transition you want from the transitions that you've got available that you've set up in the scene transitions section just here. 
So with, with mine, I've got a loom wipe, I've got a fade, I've got the cut. I can add anything I want. So if I do a slide, for instance, we'll add a slide in. Let me just preview that. I'm going to do it to right. So press OK. I'm going to add that to this transition here, slide. And I'm going to move my main one back to fade. So now when I press the pause sign, it'll fly off like so. If I press the, um, the, the one that I want selected, it'll come back in like so. So you can see, I can transition in that lower third at any point that I want. If I want to add more lower thirds, I can do that as well. So I can create another scene. In fact, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this one. And we'll call it lower thirds 2. Press OK. And I'm going to copy this text file and paste it in there. And we're just going to call this uh, lower, lower thirds 2 as well. Um, what are you going to do about it? go press okay so you probably see that's merging because we've got the lower thirds already selected here so as previous we're going to select the lower thirds two scene and press the plus sign and we've got two here now so if i go back to my just chatting screen and now when i press the the, the lower thirds two button it'll switch to the second one and you'll see that these will transition in again i can change the transition if i want to I have that luma wipe that i had before you can set it up to exactly however you like it to be you can even just cut it on so it can swap between the two and as i say these persist through scene transitions as well so you can constantly rather than having multiple things in each scene you can basically just hold any elements that you want on the top just there which is insane which could use for multiple things like i have a lot of like mini games and stuff that come on my scene uh, on my stream so rather than have that in every single scene i can just activate one of these and the way that I can do that to the file and then go to settings and go to hotkeys, scroll down to whatever scene that it is, the lower thirds one, I can do this show on DSK1. So if I do a hotkey for that, we'll say control one, control two to hide, uh, and then lower thirds two will show on DSK1, uh, control three and control four. I'm going to press apply and press OK. So now I'm on this scene. If I press control one, that is going to put this on. If I press control 2, which is now, it turns it off. If I do 3, it'll turn the second one on. 4 will turn it off. So I can switch between the two just using a hotkey. So then you could use that with your stream deck or the orange board, anything like that. Whatever you want to use, you can activate and deactivate these at any point. So that means you could basically run commands that will automatically shout people out, for instance, and things like that. A nice, simple welcome message as well, which is cool. And again, because the transitions are all um, easy to set up and you can set them up to be whatever you want, then, it, it, you, yeah, there's some really cool stuff that you could do with this if you're a little bit creative. Hopefully, I will be doing some videos on that sort of stuff soon. But that's pretty much all there is to that plugin. Like, it's very simple, nice, nice, quick, and easy. One last thing that I did forget to mention is you can actually create different lists of uh, downstream keys. So if you just wanted certain lists for certain things, so say if you're doing like a sports event or an esports event or something like that, you could have different um, sections just here. So you don't have to set them up every single time. And remember what order you need them in. It can automatically be set up every single time. But yeah, I honestly love it. Excel Drove knocked it out of the park again. Just when you think you've got everything in OBS, you've got Control Z coming, you undo, you know, do you know what I mean? You've got all these incredible features showing high transitions, and then he just knocks it out bringing so many cool new features to obs so make sure you do leave him a review on the obs website and that's pretty much it so if you want to support me then please consider joining patreon uh, or and slash or being a channel member uh, it greatly is appreciated these videos take me a long time to research and make all that jazz and i always make sure i make everything completely free for you make sure you do follow stream up as well because we've got loads of projects coming out very soon including some incredible final fantasy 7 alerts yeah I'm learning to speedrun Final Fantasy VII. Right, enough about me. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. Love you. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.